a little confused. The next lake on my list was supposed to be Steverson, Steverson Cottonwood Lake. But I'm pulling up here to the boat ramp. Here's the, well, yeah, here's the, here's the drive into the boat ramp. And it says Home Valley Lake Access. So, and I just looked it up on Google Maps, and this is Steverson Cottonwood Lake. So maybe Home Valley Lake is way back in there somewhere. Who knows? But look at this. This is just crazy. Wow. Just nuts. And it's windy. There's there's a good there's a good gust going on here. I am gonna get in and I'm gonna head that direction. It's gonna be a real bear cat to get back in here though. Cause I'll be going against the wind. But whatever. It's like 84 degrees. It's so warm. Here's the, here's the drive in. Kind of a makeshift parking lot here. Kind of looks like where I'm parked. It looks like maybe this was supposed to be underwater. Maybe. It, it is kind of soft. I was a little leery driving into this. It's kind of mushy, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm in Lackey, Nebraska. And I'm about 30 minutes, 35 minutes north of the last lake of Fry. Wow, there's just nothing out here, man. Just nothing. So, yeah, and the bugs. The bugs are really bad all of a sudden. Doesn't take long for the bugs to come out. Anyway, I'm going to get in and I'm just going to check this out and kind of paddle around for a while. And, uh, yeah, it's 108. I'm in mountain time zone right now. It should be 208. So, wow, just a, just a crazy, just a crazy place. So, all right, well, enough talking. Let's go get in. Okay, this is Steverson Cottonwood Lake, 680 acres. So, stupid me, I forgot I had a drone. So I got the drone out, and I'll show you guys the footage. But I flew the drone this direction, and that Home Valley Lake is over there. It's You have to take a channel. So that's why that sign says that. It must not have a road that actually goes to it. So that's why that road says access to Home Valley Lake. Duh. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. These waves are not um, friendly. I am gonna really try and get over there. Kind of makes me nervous a little bit. You know, I'm the only one out here, as usual. There's nobody out here, probably for miles and miles and miles. Um, I just gotta be careful. 
I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty good at this. I've done a 150 plus lake, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but I gotta be careful, I can't get cocky. But I'm gonna try and find that channel, which I think is right in front of us. But these are some pretty good swells here. There's a, there's a nice wind. Well, it's not nice to me, but there's a good wind. So I'm gonna try, if not, if I don't feel comfortable, I'm just gonna come back. So anyway, this is Steverson, Steverson Cotton Wood Lake in Lackey, Nebraska. Right here in the uh, sand hills. I'm in the thick of it, man, this is it. There's just nothing around me. I have a bunch of batteries, I have water. I do not bring my cell phone on these trips in case I ever fall in. That's kind of my saving grace if I make it to shore. Uh, they do make waterproof cell phone carriers. I just choose not to wear them. And my mother does not like that. So, <laughs> sorry mom. The whole point of me getting out here is to get away from technology and people and the computer and yeah, just to get away from all that stuff. So, it's kind of nice to just get off the grind and just get out here with nature. But safety is very paramount, so. Anyway, enough of that crap. This is, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna try and get over there. If not, don't hate me. Let's go. Okay guys, about 10 minutes later, here's the channel for Home Valley. And the wind is not a problem over here. It's probably protected by those sand hills there to the left of us. This is awesome. Let's do it. It is really hot out here. Man. We went from 40 degrees to 80 in a matter of days. It's crazy. shorts on man guys I got a new butt pad off of Amazon uh, the old one is fine but it sat me too high up in the kayak and it was always kind of awkward so I got one of those squish hexagon looking things and it's supposed to be cool and, and this thing's working awesome it still saves my butt and uh, it's just a uh, nice ride I'm not getting butt sore so yeah that's fun to talk about
no wind back here. No sounds. Let's see how far I've gone. Turn around here and see if we can see the, uh, see my car. Eh, kind of. I can kind of see it. Right there. Just a red dot down there. Wow. That's crazy. I think once I get around this corner right here, this is properly named Home Valley Lake. Which looks just massive. Wow, look at this. This is Home Valley Lake. Crazy. 
This is the first time I've ever been on a lake where I have access to another lake by accident. So, <laughs> two lakes. I can mark two lakes off my list. And one of them, one of them one is it wasn't even on the list. Ah, oh, this is great. Holy smokes. Isn't it crazy how busy the world is and how busy life is and there's traffic and and I live in I live in Bellevue which is pretty close to Omaha and I work in Omaha and I I sit in traffic and I get mad it's like come on let's go and there's an accident you gotta wait forever there's all these people everywhere and then you come out here Look at this, I'm the only one. It's just crazy. They're building apartments and houses on top of each other and cities are becoming overcrowded and then you got this. There's just nothing. And I know you can't build houses out here. Hey, there's a big turtle. No, never mind. It's just a log. I mean, I know you can't really build houses out here or buildings or apartments. I mean, you have these little towns in the in the sand hills, but it just blows my mind that I'm the only one out here. And then tomorrow I go back to the grind. I drive home and then Monday work it's crazy <laughs> like a part of me just wants to keep on paddling but I know I'm gonna be too exhausted to get back look how blue the water is Wow. This is just wild. Never gets old. Well, this is Home Valley Lake. It looks like it's about, I don't know, four, 400 acres, 500. I'll have to look at it and put it on the, put it on the list of marked done lakes. Very cool.
<clears throat> oh wow, this is just unreal. You know, I don't fish, but I bet this lake has a lot of good fish in it. All the Sand Hill Lakes are known for good fishing. Just never got into it. People ask me all the time. This morning, when I was doing those lakes, some guys asked me, you know, did you catch anything? No. I'm not fishing. Then they get kind of confused. Why not? Well, let me tell you my story. And they usually walk away with a stone kayaking sticker, so everybody wins. But yeah, I, I bet there's some good fishing out here. Getting kind of sore. <clears throat> I did too much from the very beginning. I usually when when I start off in the in the in the new season, I try to do like one or two lakes that are small. But whatever. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Yep, I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna head back to Steverson Cottonwood. We call this a day. I did three lakes today. Not bad. I'm gonna try and do one tomorrow. I'll head home. This whole trip was based off of one lake that I haven't even done yet. It's near Valentine. I forgot it when I was doing the Valentine Refuge Lakes. And it's not really, I don't think it's part of the Valentine National Wildlife Refuge Lakes, but it's pretty darn close to the other one. So I don't know how I missed it. There's always certain lakes that nag at me trying to get them done. That's one of them. All these dead trees. Wow. They're like ghosts. I'm gonna see if I can get back in here and get out. I gotta stretch my leg. It's getting kinda sleepy. Oh, that was a big fish. Oh, something just bumped the bottom of my kayak. That was wild. See if I can get in here. Wow, look at this. So quiet. 
Oh, the ground is kind of kind of squishy. Lots of holes. Maybe snake holes? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, this is beautiful. You know, if you really, if you really think about it, I bet nobody's ever set foot on this little beach right here. Maybe the rancher? Who knows? I'd be the first person to ever walk over here. It's weird to think like that. That kind of goes off of what I was just saying earlier about how there's all these people everywhere. But then you get out here and you're just the only one. It's just weird. Just crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I love sharing this stuff with you guys. This is fun. You know, I showing you guys all these weird things in Nebraska, all these isolated places oh got a prickly on my foot but yeah I, I really enjoy doing this and I really appreciate all you guys that watch and leave comments and subscribe I appreciate that I'm not doing this for money you know and I probably never will this is just a kind of a hobby turned into a passion and yeah, there you go. Find something you like to do and do it. That's all I got to say about that. Well, let's, uh, I suppose let's get back in and head towards the uh, boat ramp. I'm tired. It's 2.15. I got on this lake at 1.20ish. 1.30 I think it was. So I'm gonna head towards uh, Valentine. Stay the night. And that'll be it for this trip. Man, it's just so serene. Just so quiet. All right, well, I'm gonna have a snack and then we're gonna get back in. Oh yeah, while I'm out, let me show you the, the awesome butt pad thing. Oh, the water's cold. It's cold. But yeah, here's the, uh, it's kind of that weird hexagon stuff. It is really comfy and it doesn't slide. This thing, does not slide my last butt pad slid it would slide when I was trying to kind of get situated in the kayak it wasn't specifically made for kayaking it was made for like office chairs but yeah this thing is this thing's been awesome also last year towards the end of the season this broke see the now well, see this right here that's supposed to attach to one of these screws right here. It broke. So what I have to do is put this uh, life preserver square thing that the, you know you throw out to people if they're in the water. That's a backrest, and I have the a bungee cord keeping it upright. Otherwise, it would slide 
underneath the kayak. So yeah, I got this thing all situated. It's actually pretty comfy. But, you know, I'm not used to kayaking yet, so I had to get out and stretch the legs. But this kayak has been awesome. I've talked about it before. It's a Swifty, Perception Swifty 9.5, which means it's nine and a half feet long, which is perfect. It weighs like 40 pounds. It's nothing. And I weigh uh, 220, and this thing holds up to 260 pounds, 260 pounds. So I've never had a problem with this kayak. It's never done me wrong. It's been through... It's been through a lot of gravel parking lots and it's sat on top of my car in hot days. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a real trooper. I don't use the back hatch for anything. Kind of goofy. It does have a uh, it does have a lid, which is right here that you can it snaps right here, but I've never used that, and I never keep anything back there. It's got plenty of leg room. It's it's been a champ. And I just looked two weeks ago and uh Dick Sporting Goods doesn't sell this style of uh perception kayak anymore. They were selling them at the beginning of last year, and I almost bought one just, just to have it in case something happens with this one. They don't sell anymore. They might sell something that's kind of like it, but they don't sell this 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 style. So, yeah, whatever. Kind of sucks. But I love this thing because it fits on top of my my crossover, and yeah, it's hardly any weight. Anyway, I've been talking too much. This is beautiful. I'm gonna eat a snack, and we're gonna get back in. So I just checked my watch and it has the uh, altitude, the elevation count, whatever that's called. I'm getting tired. Anyway, back at home in Bellevue or Omaha, it's 950. Right here it's 3,361. That's crazy. And I can see my car way, way down there. It's a red spot. Wow, so here is Steverson Cottonwood Lake. We're back on it again.
Oh, wow. We're getting closer. So much closer. My arms are getting sore. We're getting tired. Well, you guys, this was awesome. Very unexpected. Did not expect to do another lake while doing a lake. So this was Steverson Cottonwood in Lackey, Nebraska and Home Valley. Very exciting. Two lakes in one. Can't beat that. So thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. I'm going to head into Valentine. I'm going to get a hotel room. I'm going to crash hard tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm going to get the last one out of the way. That'll be it for this trip. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I always appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Well, hey, thanks for, thanks for watching the video. That was a really awesome trip. That was fantastic, one of, one of my better ones. But I have to admit something. Some of it, well, the details aren't true. And I wanna be transparent, and I wanna be honest with you guys. I don't wanna mislead you. And this was not intentional. When I got onto that lake, I thought I was getting on Cottonwood and Steverson, one lake, and I thought the channel that I took was taking me to Home Valley Lake. But that's not true. I never got on Home Valley Lake. I got on Steverson, and that channel took me to Cottonwood. Now, Let's start from the beginning. So when I do all these trips, I always do lots of research. I always try to make sure I know where I'm going, how many acres it is, what's the name of the town or the city that I'm going to. So I've done all my research. But when I get to a particular lake like the Sand Hills, they're a little different because when you're looking at everything from Google Maps, it you have one view but it's totally different when you actually are there so I drive five or six seven hours to a lake and it looks totally different from what I saw on Google Maps so when I showed up to this lake that sign that home valley access lake sign pointing into the lake totally confused me so hopefully that makes sense that whole time I thought I was I was paddling towards Home Valley Lake, but I was actually just going to Cottonwood. So again, hopefully we cleared this up. I don't ever want to mislead you guys. You know, with me doing this, I always want to be honest and true and make sure that you guys get the full facts. I don't want to say that I did a lake when I actually never did. Because, you know, who knows, 10 years from now, somebody's watching this video and they'll say, hey, you can actually access Home Valley Lake from Cottonwood. This guy did it. Well, it's not true. So, again, I apologize. I'm sorry. But still, it was a fantastic time. I mean, being out there in the middle of nowhere is just great. So, again, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I always appreciate it. Thanks. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.